Hello everyone. Missionary schools have played a very important role in our country's school education. And today, we are in one of the old and well-established school of Gwalior, which is serving the society from more than 50 years. This is St. Paul's School, Gwalior, and we are going to talk to its principal, Father John Xavier. Hello everyone. We have with us uh, Father N. John Xavier. He is the principal of uh, St. Paul's School, Gwalior. Welcome to my Dubai, Father. Thank you, sir. Father, uh, the school has been serving this society for more than 50 years. So, what is the journey of the school? How did all, it all started? And it's been more than 50 years. So, how do you summarize the, the journey of the school? This is a program by the Catholic Church. Wherever the Catholic Church exists, they impart education. Though we have our own uh, religious uh, activities, church and other things. But uh, we want to educate the society. If you remember in the city of Gwalior, uh, we are one of the few first schools uh, started imparting English medium uh, education. Right? Right. So we want that the society should come up, come up with the help of a good education and we believe in ourselves. Right. We believe in ourselves that we are good enough to give something to the society which the society lacks. Right. So based on this one, our people, church people, our father, especially father Abraham Palakuri, okay. who tried to buy a piece of land in Tatipur where we started the school first. For one or two years the school was there. Then came father uh, George Chinat. Okay. He was uh, closer to Justice Khan. Justice Khan was a famous man here, he was a judge. And he was moving out of Gwalior, as he was moving out of Gwalior, he thought of giving this land to the church. Okay. And uh, we got this land for the purpose of education. And since then, we are here. It is almost uh, 55 years in the uh, St. Paul is giving service to the society of Gwalior. Well, uh, from last ten to feel, last from last ten to fifteen years, we have seen that digital education is trending, right? Now, when we talk about digital education, we have a smart classes, one part, and then we have learning apps which are coming. So, considering uh, the fact that there is also constraint about the screen time, so what are your views on digital education? It's a time of digital, no uh, era, I would say, whatever things. Uh, digital, digital, and uh, of course, the education also has got this system. But of course, I have a greater uh, respect for the traditional and the conventional education system. Okay. But digital is good uh, because of the use of technologies to make things easier. While making things easier by using apps and other technologies, a man reduces his creativity also. Now, okay, one way it uh, grows in a uh, scientific knowledge, at the right. same time it grows impatient. Right. And uh, you know, the traditional system has got its own good thing. Of course, every system has got good and bad. But the digital life also has got its own limitations. But I would say that though it is good when it is used properly, otherwise it is not. But I would say people should uh, balance it. We should not forego that one for digital. And the digital should not be given much importance and giving up that one. Both should be taken into consideration. Should have a balanced uh, uh, look at both the uh, system. systems. Yes. Father, uh, this is a very well established school, renowned school of the, of the town. So what are those practices which makes the school unique when it comes to following some of the practices of school education? See, uh, certainly you are right that uh, we are unique. That's the reason is that we have for, uh, people are coming coming to us a uh, lot of pressure uh, to get the children admitted. They use a lot of forces, uh, departments and uh, political power and that power. We have difficulties. You yes. accommodate everybody. The reason behind this sort of move is that 
people think that that we can deliver right we can deliver as i said we believe in ourselves that we can do it well and there is a reason why we are doing well it is not only just uh, for the sake of uh, having a school we are having it is our commitment to the society right it is a commitment society we don't look into the business angle this is a sort of uh, sort of sacred duty to the society uh, through which we can uh, bring the people to the mainstream and moreover we don't target uh, elite class or particular class of people no we want everybody should especially we target middle class and the poor who cannot otherwise go other way uh, other places there are people who can buy anything they can go to big big schools uh, expensive school or air conditioned schools this school caters everybody especially the middle class and the poor ones who feel that that once if they put the children in the school 14 years they have no problem and they can afford the fee this is commitment that makes the difference the discipline and education though we lack little bit of in the other activities like extra curricular activities games we may not have horse riding or swimming pool but we mean education education commitment discipline and education that go hand in hand we give more importance to these two aspects right. so the commit if i summarize it you, uh, the conviction the belief and the commitment are the pillars of the yes. of your system this is a very known fact that a student only spends 6 to 7 hours in his school and rest of the time he or she spends in their home now what is the role of parents and how do you see the role of parents when it comes to completion of homework here i would say that the parents cannot escape the responsibility the school gives the students in their custody only for 6 to 7 hours right the children spend only these many hours after 24 hours 6 hours or 7 hours almost the rest of the time they are the parents are outside we try our best we try our best to educate the children and we expect them to do well and the expectation is not only from the school side, the parents should also have the expectation, but they should collaborate or cooperate with the tier school. They cannot just uh, say that the school has to do everything. No, the school does its work. But the parents have to see to that whether the children are doing well or not. Where they are going, how they are going, are they reaching the school, do they get come under the check, do they get the feedback from the school. Whether they are, we expect the parents to come for feedback right. how they are doing. And sometimes that there are parents who are really committed, they are helping the children to do the homework. There are some people who may not uh, have that much knowledge to help out the students. There are some people who try to find out uh, uh, fault with the student teachers right. at school. But there are, I would say in my school, uh, about 98% of the parents are wonderful. Wow. To say 98% is big, big, big thing big. when right. we compare to 2%. There are, I mean, so the 2% the that people are like, like, you know, trying to find fault with the teacher, school, management system, and those are the people who uh, come begging for admissions. But the 98% of the parents are wonderful, very cooperative, very right. understanding. And whenever we tell them, they accept our suggestions, they are ready to cooperate with us, and we salute them. Very good. Now, Father, when we uh, talk about school education, and it's a known fact that uh, this is one of the highest employment generating industry also. So, it means like every year new teachers are also coming, new schools are coming. So, what is your message to those people who are opting uh, teaching as their profession? See, now the economy is going, uh, slowing down, people are losing job, and uh, once upon a time it was a profession, it was not profession, it was a uh, commitment to the society. Being a teacher is something um, beautiful. Now, at least let me get a at least teaching job. If we have come to that level. Right. If I don't get any work, uh, let me at least do the teaching job. But where here people don't understand the job on the teacher. Teaching, of course, is a job, but it's uh, much beyond that concept of job. Right. The job is where you uh, go and work and earn money, try to earn more and more. Uh, here the teaching job is not that only earning money, 
you are making a difference. The future is in yes, your hands. Yes, the future of the children is in your hands. So here, at the, the new generations, which is trying to go for a uh, teaching job, I would say, see that you are uh, going to uh, make the future of children better. And the future of children in your hand. And you have to work hard. It's not just come and go. And you should get involved in the life of children. And getting them, and helping them, and promoting them, and motivating them, and inspiring them. Not only the school, after the school also when we meet, we have love for our teachers, yes. the whole system. But that uh, sort of respect and love is uh, missing these days. Right. Here teachers also are responsible because they are coaching, tuition. And this all tuition coaching means extra money. When you go for extra money, the, the real uh, thing the is cost, lost. Right. The cost right. is lost. Cost. And that's why we see our, in our school, we uh, insist on that uh, teachers should uh, teach well and we insist on the students don't go for coaching right. and those students who perform well without going for to coaching we award them oh. we give them some uh, yeah, financial help okay. to show that they have done well so this is what we want but the young generation that's looking for a job as a teachers they should understand that this is not just job to earn money it's a commitment to the society absolutely Thank you so much, Father, for your right. time. And right. uh, no doubt, the school is really doing very well. And we are honored that today we got the time of uh, talking to you. And just, you know, we were able to see the system. Thank you so much, Father. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.